Many thanks for staying with us on the newsroom. These are the trending stories at the moment. Gunmen have kidnapped Chukudi Ogbona, the Accord Party candidate for the Ogba and Doni local government area constituency 2 in the River State House of Assembly for the March 18 election. Ogbona was reportedly kidnapped while driving in his car at Rumuibo near Port Harcourt on Monday night when the gunmen forced him to stop and whisked him away with his car. Reacting to the incident, Police Public Relations Officer of the Command, Grace Enrique Coco, said the police are aware and on top of the situation. The Nigerian Railway Corporation says it will construct overhead bridges at 11 level crossings in Lagos. Fidel Okira, Managing Director of the NRC in an interview, also disclosed the agency has commenced the separation of the road from rail in the Oimbo and Ibutemeta areas of Lagos. The development comes a few days after a Lagos staff bus was crushed by a moving train when it veered into a rail track at the Ikeja area. The train bus accident affected 102 persons, with six deaths recorded. The arraignment of the immediate past Deputy Governor of Imo State, Gerald Irona, before the Oweri High Court was on Tuesday stalled due to the absence of the case file. Irona, who was on Thursday remanded in Oweri prison custody by a magistrate in the state, T.N. Ezerioha, was billed to be arraigned before Justice S.I. Opara of the Oweri High Court on Tuesday, but the proposed arraignment could not take place. Irona's team of lawyers who appeared in court went home disappointed after they were informed that the arraignment could not go on because the case file had not been brought to the court. The COVID-19 pandemic has contributed to a rise in myopia in Hong Kong children, but a study has found that prescription eye drops used to dilate pupils can cause the risk. A team of scientists has revealed school closures and school social distancing measures during the COVID-19 pandemic have been found to have affected the eyesight of school children who have had to learn remotely. However, ophthalmologists from a Chinese university say they found that a dose of low concentration atropine eye drops every night could reduce the risk of children developing myopia or short-sightedness by 46.4% with the incidence rate dropping from 53% to 28.4%. The board of Dangote Sugar Refinery PLC has appointed Yabawa Lawan Wabi as an independent non-executive director. According to a corporate notice signed by the company secretary, Temitokwe Hazan, the appointment was approved by the board at its meeting held on February 28, 2023. Wabi has experience in the public sector, having served as permanent secretary in various ministries and as director of finance and accounts at the Ministry of Works and Housing in Borno State and as accountant general of Borno State. In South Africa, the health department has disclosed the Labour Appeal Court has ordered striking state healthcare workers to end a week-long walkout that has affected services in some of the country's big hospitals. Since last week, the National Education, Health and Allied Workers Union members have been on strike after wage talks with the government failed. On Sunday, the health department said that clinical operations were hamstrung by a low nursing and administrative support staff turnout. And in sports, Belgian footballer Eden Hazard has revealed that he is not on talking terms with the Real Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti, having not featured for the Los Blancos in over two months. Despite the apparent deteriorating relationship with the Italian, the former Chelsea player insists he wants to stay at the Bernabeu, even if it means he is on the periphery of things. Hazard has had a heated time since joining the Spanish side, playing just 73 games in La Liga and finding the back of the net seven times with 11 assists. Well, that's all on the newsroom. Thank you for watching. I am Simisola Adipo.